What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel and welcome to a brand new vehicle that they've added into the game. So of course, this was added a little while back, but I wanted to take a little bit of a break over Christmas. So that's why I didn't really make a video on this thing. Now, if you guys are brand new to the channel and you enjoy the content here, of course, please feel free to subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, a big, big thing. My subreddit is almost at a thousand members. Once it reaches a thousand members, I will be making a video reacting to all of the memes and things that you guys have posted on it. So it's almost at a thousand members. Links to that are in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out and uh, become a part of it. Start posting some random things there. And uh, yeah, I really hope to see uh, what you guys have actually posted there. Because I've, I've kind of sort of not really gone through it like a lot. I just went through it like very quickly just to see if there's anything there that shouldn't be there. Uh, but other than that, like, there's there's a lot of memes there that I need to check out, and uh, I definitely want you guys to go and start posting in it. But yeah, anyway, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, because this Ford Bronco, this Hoonigan built Ford Bronco is absolutely mental. Uh, I really hope you liked the video. Anyway, let's get back to it. So I really do hope, by the way, that you guys have enjoyed your time off, your holidays, your Christmas, whatever it is that you guys are celebrating. I really do hope that you guys are having a good time, even though it's really, really, really terrible out. Obviously, because of specific reasons, I can't really say because I think my video will get demonetized. But um, yeah, I really do hope that still people are trying to at least somehow enjoy themselves during this holiday season. Anyway, welcome to another video. Uh, welcome to the Ford Bronco. This is the Hoonigan Ford Bronco. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, try this thing a little bit off-road. Try to uh, see what it's like off-road. And then, of course, because it's my YouTube channel... Um, that we're on here. I'm gonna probably try to drift this. So let's test this thing out off-road and see what it's like Okay, now that we've tested it off-road, let's go ahead and see what it's like to drift now This thing stock makes already a stupid amount of power because it's a Hoonigan uh, built truck 435 horsepower it weighs only 1600 kilos. It's obviously raised. It's got like crazy crazy mods done to it and it looks absolutely sick but what I'm going to do is completely ruin everything on it and try to turn it into a drift truck. So that's what's happening in today's video. We have a bunch of different engines here to choose from. Uh, I'm somewhat tempted to keep the engine that's in it now. However, this V6 twin turbo, which is the 4GT, I think, um, engine, it's very, very tempting. Very, very, very tempting to have this. Well, actually, no, Wait, is it? Because it's a racing V6 twin turbo. Three and a half liter of racing V6. Ooh, what engine is this from? Because I know there's a V6 twin turbo, I think, that uh, Ford have, which is the Ford GT engine. I'm not entirely sure if this is the same one. Or if it is the same one, maybe it's the one in the Ford GT race car. I don't even know. But it sounds kind of sick, and I kind of want to put it in. Because it'll it'll seem kind of interesting. Also, this has a 7.2 V8 with 1,000 horsepower. Jeez. I love how the displacement will go green because it's a higher displacement than the standard one, which is jokes. And because it's a lower displacement on this one, it's it's uh, it's in red. As if that's a downgrade. Uh, <laughs> apparently, for the things, there's no replacement for displacement. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different engines here that are actually kind of sick. Um, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go with the V6 Twin Turbo. However, the V8 does seem very, very tempting. How about we'll see which one makes the most power, okay? How about we do that? We'll put the racing V6 to a turbo in it. Uh, I'm also going to keep this all-wheel drive. I'm not going to change the drivetrain at all on this. Um, as for visual stuff, really, we can have counters on this thing. Um, as for visual stuff on this thing, um, obviously, as you can see, we can't really do anything to it. That's interesting. As for our wheel size, we can just get these to be a little bit wider. We can't really change anything. Uh, when it comes to tire compound... I want to keep the wheels the same. I, I don't really want to change those at all. We can uh, get some 24s on it if we really want to, but I feel like it'll just ruin the way this thing looks. Saying that, I think I'm going to end up putting uh, or lowering the suspension on this thing. Or actually, I might even just turn it into a jelly build. A jelly drift build. I think that's what's going to happen in today's video with this with this truck. Because we can't, we literally can't do anything with, uh, with the suspension. We can't have drift suspension. Um, so that's out of the question here, but we can tune the suspension to be a little bit easier 1460 horsepower out of this v6 Jesus and then 1400 uh, was it for 1446 yeah, uh, Newton meters, which is sick. Let's put the 6 or the 7.2 v8 in it and then twin turbo. Oh my god. I've just seen the power I've just seen the power after twin turbo. Are you mad? What? And then we upgraded to 
1,876 horsepower, 1,875 newton meters of torque. Oh my god. This is one of the most powerful cars in Forza Horizon 4. Jesus Christ. I'm definitely adding that on. That is much, much worse. <laughs> Sorry, I mean better. Because it's going to be more fun, but it's going to handle a lot worse having this much power. Okay, as for our tune, I don't know what to change on this thing. I generally couldn't even, like, couldn't even start. Wait, this is as low as it goes. We can lift this even higher. Okay, not by much. Okay, I, I, was, I was here like, oh my god, it's like 61 centimeters. Let's lift this up to, I don't know, like 80. Imagine. Okay, uh, I'm just going to drive it like this with no tune on it. And we'll see what it's like. It, it was, it, it wasn't slow before, but it wasn't like... My Jesus. This isn't built at all or anything. It spins. It's also all wheel drive. It spins all four wheels at ease. That's a dumb amount of torque and it revs so high as well. I'm in fifth gear here. Just trying to get. Get a grip of how this thing drop. Oh my god! Because it's all wheel drive, I'm literally just using throttle. Take these corners. Wow! Oh my god! You don't need. Oh my god! Okay. It crashed. So it's just eating the entire guy row. This is absurd. Why is this angel swap an option here? I am... I am genuinely speechless. No tune or anything. Suspension is very, very soft. I mean, it's literally as soft as it could go. And I'm literally just using power to push myself through these corners. There's, there's like no, there's like barely any counter steering happening. That was ridiculous. What a run. For something that's not built at all. To be a drift car or truck or whatever. I squeeze out 400 and something thousand points. This thing is insane. This thing is absolutely mental. I don't even know what to do here. What can I do to change this to be even like better? Because I, I don't have to do anything. I, I really don't know what to do here. I like how soft this is special. It's just funny to, to drive. And it's a 50-50 torque distribution. That is mental. Alright, we'll, we'll turn this thing into more of a rear-wheel drive. I'll fully lock the diff as well. I don't know if this is going to make it worse or better. I think it might make it just a tiny bit better. Because, I mean, I, I going uphill, I literally didn't have to use um, counter-steering, like, at all. Unless I had to, like, change direction and, and transition. Like, it, it's such... Such a mad thing. And again, this is this is a pre-built truck. Now this is this is obviously a Hoonigan truck. It's not it's not just a stock Ford Bronco with an engine that I put in it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is ridiculous. Look at that. I didn't even change tire compound or anything. I'm making some mistakes here and there, but this is... Oh, I spun it. I spun it for the first time. But that's okay. We're back on the road again.
Oh my god. Top speed did not seem very impressive with this thing. Probably because of the shape that it is. I'm kind of tempted to just stretch my gears out and see. Like, just I, I just want to see how fast this thing can actually go on a straight line. Again, I think because the gear ratio is... Oh, God. I spun it. Oh, my God. I was about to reverse... Reverse entry that after making a massive mistake. Five hundred thousand points with this is stupid. It's so fast. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, goodbye. That's a big wall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's, so, it's so unstable. Oh my god. I'm like flooring it and it just shoots off in a random direction. Okay, more to the left. Nice. <laughs> I'm not even that far off. I'm generally not even that far off with this thing. I think with a good run up, a much better run up than I've done there. I should just, I just gotta fast travel to here. Just use the actual path itself. That is mad. It's so fast. Okay, we'll go here. Maybe I shouldn't jump sideways in it. I don't know why I decided that was a good idea here. Maybe literally aim at this in a straight line and then just jump in a straight line. Okay. And it's gone sideways. That's the only issue with the- Oh! Okay, that's enough uh, trail based events. I'm gonna try this on a, uh, on a speed zone here. This is the speed zone where I literally got first in the world on before with the Hoonigan RS. What does it handle like if I take it off road? I mean things don't seem to slow down, so that's kinda cool. I definitely think I could have gone a lot faster. There's a lot of things in the way here. It it's it, Honestly? It's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. It actually feels kind of sick to drive. So short gear ratios. It does have some grip. I feel like the RS is a little better. I think I think the RS is actually a lot better. Maybe at the moment. Maybe what this thing needs is like a a mental tune. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. How am I still breaking things? I'm not even touching the wall, the, the fence. Uh, it's it's gone. I'm gone here. It's got such a dumb amount of power. It, it just doesn't need it. And this is absurd. Well, it, it's so fast. Like, so, so fast. And then once you take it out on the road, it just spins the, those... Like, I haven't even put a tune on this thing. I don't know what tune to put on it. it it's, it's just... It's, it's stupid. It's really, really fast. I'm gonna finish off with this video here. I'm just... I'm just blown away how bonkers this thing is. Oh, I just destroyed this, this guy's boat. Sick. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope... You guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, of course, subscribe. Follow me on social media. Links to those down below as usual. And of course, my subreddit. 
but for now i'm i'm gonna end it here thank you again very much for watching hopefully you guys have had a good christmas and i will see you in the next video what an absurd insane vehicle i definitely recommend you guys get this thing yourselves